Ladies and gentlemen, in the video I uploaded about the lead game designer yesterday, I said this. Also has been taking time away from Steven, which now gives him more time to focus on running the studio and giving us more Discord leaks. Like June's livestream that we are still waiting on Steven. What are we gonna see? I need to know. And then I wake up this morning to an actual leak in my comments. And it looks like in the June livestream, my prediction was partially right. And we will be seeing an updated look at Freeholds, which tells me that my theory is pretty solid when it comes to Intrepid constantly teasing us when it comes to the live streams by showing us assets that will be displayed in upcoming streams on the current ones. As in the past few months, we've been getting a lot of livestock and fish, which will tie into the Freeholds and crafting system. But Freeholds is a pretty in-depth system, so what exactly will we be seeing? First, channel member shout out. If the livestock ties into it, then we could very well be getting a look at some of the processing professions on the freehold and how they work within this system. The big one here would be farming. Players will have various building plots on their freehold where they can place things such as a farm workstation or a fishery. This can be used through the artisan system to gain time-based returns on whatever it is you have going on there. For example, milk from a cow or various crops that may have been planted or maybe whatever the heck this guy would give you for food. You could also use the fishery to obtain fish that are unique to freeholds that you won't find anywhere else in the world, which could be a crucial component to your freehold depending on the artisan path you choose to follow. You can also hire farmhand NPCs to assist you with these systems as well, such as doing crop rotation, harvesting the plants, and selling crops that have been gathered, all of which would be pretty cool to see come to life. But freeholds are more than just plots of land for you to craft on. They can also be your home as a player, allowing you to place a home, add furniture and storage to it, hang Stephen Shree's photo on the wall, or even get you node citizenship. But the biggest thing that I want to see that ties into a freehold system is the animal husbandry profession. On your freehold, you will be able to purchase a stables, which you can then use to breed various types of animals from the world of Vera within the profession to uncover new species and unlock mounts and pets that you can then keep for yourself or sell to other players to make gold from. It's probably one of the crafting systems that I am most interested in learning more about and with an in-depth look at freeholds where well, we could potentially see a bit of this at the end of the month. This showcase though would be a good time for Intrepid to also lay out the plan for building types and cosmetic skins, showing how each building works and what benefits it has and how skins can apply to this. I know Steven kind of answered this question in the community Q&A. Yeah, um so the majority of, of cosmetic freehold skins, the vast majority of them are used for the home. Um, and to give you an example, kind of an idea of how the freehold is partitioned, freehold serves kind of three main purposes. The first and foremost is as a location for your home. And so because of that, a, por a portion of the freehold is dedicated to a home building. Um, and you cannot fill that space with workshops and or processing stations um, other than to place a home there. The home offers a lot of things and the reasons why it's a core um, element of freeholds um, is because of <coughs> storage capability, <coughs> excuse me, storage capability, furniture allotment and placement, furniture interacts very closely with processing, um, uh, as well as um, uh, the crop rotations that exist around the particular um, uh, housing um, building. The other portion of the freehold is dedicated to workshops in these processing stations, essentially. Um, and processing stations are, of course, a necessary component of taking gatherables uh, into usable, crafted goods, essentially, to fulfill uh, what recipes require in order to make um, um, items. And so the majority of cosmetics that um, uh, are out there from our pre-order packages are dedicated to that freehold housing slot. Now, some are used for the workstations. And it is the intent that our designs uh, facilitate multiple applicable uh, cosmetics skins to those workstations as well as to the house. So you'll see freeholds that have the house applied cosmetic and some with the with the uh, workstations applied. But there still seems to be a bit of concern around the topic even after that. So this would be a good time to go into more detail on how it works. 
Freeholds were last seen over two years ago where we got this trailer of Freeholds but didn't get any actual gameplay of these systems so it's good to see Intrepid revisiting these older previews now that they have them functioning and ready to be shown off. If you made it this far into the video well then you must be somewhat enjoying this content so do me a huge favor and click that subscribe button and hit that thumbs up to help out the channel and comment down below what you are hoping to see in the Freehold reveal. Otherwise if you're new to Ashes and you've yet to create an account feel free to use my referral link in the description below where you can jump in on the forums, buy some cosmetics or just hang out until you can finally step foot into the world of era otherwise be sure to stay tuned for a lot more to come